In medieres is the Latin phrase that means in the middle of things. It's the way we often start films when you want to hook someone's attention. You're looking from high to low and it can convey a sense of not just looking down at something, but looking down on something or looking down on someone. It can convey a feeling of powerlessness. And the converse is true for the low angle. When you're looking from low to high, it can give the sense of looking up at something, in fact, give the sense of looking up to something or someone. It can convey a sense of power. Canting affects the film when the level of the shot is not straight on, but is actually canted. So it gives the effect of tipping your head to the side a bit. It makes things feel askew, off kilter. Speed of film stock can affect a lot in terms of the grain of the film. If you're shooting uh, in low light conditions, then you need to use a higher speed film in order to capture more light, to, to see the image more clearly. And likewise, if you're shooting in relatively high light conditions, you need a lower speed film to do that. Shot Reverse Shot is very useful in continuity editing to help organize conversations. So we will begin, say, with a master shot, but then we always want to get closer to our actors. So you begin to frame either over the shoulder or not, shot, reverse shot, shot, reverse shot, to show the two speakers conversing with each other. Continuity is important to film because continuity is a style of editing. In the continuity system of editing, it helps you to maintain consistency from one shot to the next. Films are usually shot well out of order, so it's in the editing process that you put them back into an order that helps people make sense of what they're seeing on screen. Mickey Mousing is a form of sound over that adds music to a scene in a way that comments on the images, often in a very humorous way. We're pretty familiar with this from cartoons, where you hear the music commenting and mimicking everything that Mickey Mouse or Bugs Bunny is doing on screen. Zooming is a means of moving that doesn't actually move the camera, it only moves the lens. With zooming, you toggle between the wide angle and the telephoto ranges and anywhere in between, only moving the lens. It's what we call optical movement. And it gives filmmakers a kind of freedom to not have to change the lens in between each shot. Tilting is a form of camera movement. When you tilt, you scan by tilting the camera to look up or tilting the camera to look down. It changes the camera angle of the shot when you tilt up and tilt down. Panning is another form of camera movement where you scan the horizon left to right and left. It almost simulates the viewer's um, turning of a head. Subjective and objective have to do with the depth of narration. When you stay external to a character, you see them moving around, but you don't really feel with them, that is objective depth of narration. Subjective depth of narration helps us get inside the character's heads a little more. We might experience their flashbacks, or their hallucinations, or their dreams. And it helps us to identify with the characters more. If you're seeing point of view shots through their eyes, you are literally seeing through their eyes, and it helps you to identify with them more. So time in film is the really nifty thing about film. It is uh, a medium that is recorded in time. You can play with the time in terms of the order or the frequency or the duration of the film. For example, flash forwards or flashbacks. Diegetic sound means sound that comes from the world of the characters. It's the sound that the characters can hear. Non-diegetic means that it's not part of the world of the characters. That sound is there just for the audience to hear, like the mood music or a voiceover that tells us what to think about the image. Who's talking?